coming up next in the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division match tonight. He ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences. Introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! All right, bring through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and our corners come out for you. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? is underway, and we've got a strike that he is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. And now he's got the tie clinch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Slips the punch. There's no give on that leg. Kick. 
Lee gets caught with that punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, says that could have been lights out. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big call for punch land. Now he's just back to the ring. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but accuracy. The accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. A big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. It's not over. Big kick land. Back and forth we go! Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, useful left hand. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. And he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. <laughs> oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. hip into that kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Real quick leg kick. Beautiful strike. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice head kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Lee gets hit with a kick. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. <laughs> Just misses with the right hook. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeling jab. He gets tagged again. He better fix the defense here and quickly. Round one winding down here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Round two is next. Come well, on, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, nice. Nice. 
looking for that left hand. Not there. Misses with that punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Look at the turtle in that kick. Now he's got that tight clinch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful punch. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, collar tie. Oh, huge block. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, good kicks. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Oh, great head move. Defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Good punch. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Just missed with the left there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Nice punch there by Lee. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, head kick. Doubles up on the jab. Lee's knee to the body looked like for a second it would get through, but that one is blocked. Big and kick. Wow, what a head kick. Big knee to the body. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the feet right now. 30 seconds to go in round two. Just missed on that spinning attack. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, huge kick. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. 
Nice body kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. How good is that right hand? Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Flush right hand is true. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him. Oh, slips the offering there, and then rips back at the target. Boom! And he landed the right hand there. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is... Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Big kick land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Punch over the top. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. And just misses with that big right hand. Got clipped with the right hand. Look at him with the... Tags him with the uppercut. Punches block. The straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. That's a big strike right there. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, nice counter. Just misses there with the left. Man, that cut has really opened up. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after I'm out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, 
When your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strength. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurting. Great punch. And he switches his stance yet again. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Knee to the body. Back and forth we go. Beautiful body kick. Oh! What a punch. Oh, lands another shot to the body. Beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh, big head kick. Watch the shot. Body can land right under the elbow. Just out of range with the uppercut. Ooh, big shot lands. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big head kick lands. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot come. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense march right through it to get the big knockout win. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, 16 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! the man of the moment and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete right i know you enjoyed the birth of your kids right yeah. but you knock out a man in a cage fight i can't think of anything better i mean there's nothing like